What is up and welcome back and today we have the Converse All-Star BB Trillion CX. Now we're going to find out if you're going to like this sneaker. So with that said, let's get into the details. Okay. So definitely when I did put on this sneaker, it felt very comfortable. Okay. Very nice. You don't feel any pain whatsoever. And I ended up going true to size. Usually I do go a half size up because I'm a wide footer. So my regular size is an eight that I go with. But this time I went with a 7.5. And the feel of it is going to be very snug, very fitted, that performance fit. And like I said, very comfortable all throughout, okay? Definitely the lockdown in the back is going to be close to a 10, around a 9.7 if I had to rate it. Because there is very, very minimal sliding but it's hardly anything okay and then my toes are going to go all the way to the edge almost maybe around a half inch extra space so have that in mind definitely if you're trying to go for that fitted performance fit i feel everybody can go true the size but if you do like that extra room that's just how you like your sneakers to fit then you can go a half size up everybody can go a half size up and i feel you're not going to have too many problems at all okay maybe the lockdown might be affected a little bit maybe bring it down to a 9 in the ankle area or a 9.5 okay but that's still very good so this shoe is going to fit very good for somebody who's trying to hoop it's going to be very good all around for the sizing just order it how you like it okay so now you have that information and I also wanted to mention, like I said, I'm a wide footer, so I didn't feel any pain on the edges, okay? My toes are along the edge, but it felt very comfortable. And I am a 2E, so you can have that as a reference if you are a wide footer, okay? Now moving on to the cushion and setup, you are going to have CX foam for the majority of the sneaker. You can see it how it houses on the outside, the whole upper even wraps around the back. So that's going to be the CX foam, this black material in this colorway. You can see it compresses a whole lot, okay? It does compress a whole lot. And even underneath, you have that CX foam right there, okay? So this right here is going to feel very comfortable to you when you have it on, how it wraps around the ankle, as for that stability and support. However, when you are wearing it and your weight's pressing down on the sneaker, underneath your foot is not going to compress as much as we're seeing right here. Because right here, there's no weight on the side of it. Nothing's pressing down. Only when we squeeze it, right, like this, you see how much it compresses. But when your weight is pressing down, it's already going to have some compression. So when you actually decide to make a move, take off, go from 0 to 100 real quick, the compression is going to be somewhat minimal okay so the the delay is not going to be as much as we have right here okay you're not going to compress that much and then go it's going to be somewhat already pressed in so it is going to be a quick sneaker because you're going to be low to the ground and the compression is going to be minimal okay so that's what you can expect very good for guards forwards that have real nice footwork that are quick okay I would just not recommend it for people who are super high flyers, that you're constantly getting up there, maybe getting a whole bunch of rebounds, because the landings with this cushioning, since you're so low to the ground, they are going to be somewhat firm and stiff, okay? So definitely watch out if you're getting bumped and landing uncontrollably, right? You don't know if you're going to land in the front, the middle, or the back. So that landing really can put in a lot of shock waves going through your legs okay and your knees but if you are landing controlled you are jumping maybe getting bumped but landing controlled then you're not gonna have a problem at all like Kyrie Irving Steph Curry those guys are constantly get bumped but they land pretty good or if they land they kind of break their own fall with extra steps or fall into the ground okay so that's what you can expect with a shoe like this that's guard tailored okay and with a low ground feel okay so very nice setup overall i do like it okay if that is your play style now moving on to the upper i am going to like this material a whole lot it is going to be a polyester type material synthetic as you know and this design is going to be a damascus type design 
I like how it looks. It's kind of floral, kind of abstract looking. Okay, I'll give you a tour of it all around. I do like this colorway with the orange. It really makes this kind of blue with a little bit hints of purple really pop a whole lot. Okay, and this material does remind me of the old fashioned sofas that used to have this type of design. In fact, my parents used to have a sofa with this type of design, Damascus, but it was in green. And just when I looked at this colorway, it just brought me back to those days because I remember I ended up breaking one of the springs because I was jumping on the sofa. So just a little side story. But definitely, I do like how it looks. In my opinion, I like this colorway the best. Okay. So it is bright. It is going to stand out on the basketball court with the orange okay so there you have the whole tour of it okay down the middle of the converse name as well do like how the lacing system is designed does a very good job you see the straps right here when you tie the laces as tight as you want them it does a very good job it doesn't hurt your feet at all so you do feel locked in like we talked about earlier just the only thing is with this type of model it does come with a cover for the laces and to me I know they're trying to go maybe futuristic or something different this I feel doesn't do much for the sneaker I don't like how it looks okay feels more like like a gimmick okay but it is based off a previous old school Converse sneaker the Aero Jam and I felt that sneaker the cover was designed very nicely because it looked like it's part of the sneaker added to how the shoe looks I feel it looks a lot better like this right you can just see it I like the design it looks very sleek looking very clean and then you add this onto it and it just covers the design I feel it doesn't add as much okay but again that's all going to be a preference you can decide if you like it like this or with the cover but definitely for me it's going to be without the cover okay and it's not too difficult to put on it connects right here with these loops and then right here in the front okay the tongue is disconnected again that's going to help with that one-to-one -one fit okay you can see the padding it's just going to be regular padding a little bit more than regular for the tongue and then in the back of the heel just look how much cushioning you have a whole bunch right here in the back right here is going to be regular but a whole bunch in this ankle area love to see it okay also for the insert i couldn't pull it out for you guys and gals because it is heavily glued but just moving it to the side a little bit i can see that they use that regular foam that their inserts usually have okay so nothing spectacular for the inside okay this is going to be the traction pattern it says air zoom as you can tell because there is an air unit in here along right here where the inside you can see it okay where your big toe is going to be at and I definitely felt it when I was stepping around and moving it does you do feel it a whole lot okay so that's good because you know it's in there and you can feel it when you're stepping down you have a lot of control of what's going on when you can feel the ground I like that in sneakers but for the traction you are going to have this pattern which is like spherical looking with a whole bunch of lines okay see it how it looks in the back and then in the front a little bit more lines put together with the herringbone right here along the big toe area okay so I love the herringbone I love how this feels it does feel grippy and does flex it's going to be very nice on the indoor court I didn't feel I had any problem with this traction it did pick up dust from time to time just make sure that you're wiping okay now for outdoor use I'm going to say I don't really recommend it because just look how thin these lines are okay they're not too thick at all so I feel you're out there playing in rough surfaces you're going to wear down through the shoe real fast okay and it's just a matter of keeping an eye on it so if you ever do take it out just look afterwards to see how much traction you worn out and if it did wear out a whole bunch then just keep using it indoors okay so that's gonna be my recommendation for outdoor use
And if you're wondering why it says Air Zoom, that's because Nike did buy Converse a while back. So they are putting some of the Nike technology into the Converse shoes. Okay, so there you have it. Now a little bit more for stability and support. You are going to have an internal heel counter and that feels very good in the back. It is a good size. Kind of reaches up here. Okay. And it still continues even in this area. So it is going to be a nice sizable amount. You're going to feel protected in the back area. However, you're not going to have no shank plate down the middle. Okay. And I feel that's very important because I do have, I am flat footed almost. I have maybe a tiny bit of arch. And any shoe that doesn't have that arch support, I can feel it very predominant. I'm very sensitive in that area, in the middle of the foot. Okay. So you do have a foot injury or maybe you're an older player or like myself you were born with real low arches then you might have something similar like I am I have a little tiny little pain not a whole bunch of pain just a tiny bit okay even though you do have a whole bunch of CX foam it does support that area but I still would have preferred a shank plate underneath just to help out with that stability that secure feel and that support okay so that's something i wanted to bring up so you know if you're thinking of picking this one up you can decide if it's going to work for you or maybe if it's not going to so that's going to be a wrap for this sneaker now you have a lot of information where you can decide if it's going to work for you or not we talked about that the setup is a low to the ground setup you do get cx foam very comfortable a little bit of compression but it's still going to be a quick shoe when you're taking off. Tailors to those guards, to those forwards that are quick on their feet. But if you are a high flyer, just watch out for those hard landings. Okay. Also very nice that it has that air zoom unit. Okay. I do love the aesthetics. Very nicely done. Does come with a heel counter also in the interior. So you're going to feel very secure in the back. Okay, didn't want to forget to mention that. And like I said, I love how this shoe looks overall, especially with the orange, right? You're going to look good on the basketball court. And also, right now, Converse is having a sale. They're calling it Cyber Week. So you can get this one for 40% off. So that's going to be around 90 USD from the regular price, 120. So definitely a good pickup for the money, okay? You're going to get a lot out of it. So that's going to do it for this close-up and this review. And if you did get something out of this video, please sub and like. It does help me out a whole lot. We'll be back with more. Until next time, peace and much love. Bye.